Hi everybody, uh, it is March 19th, which is actually my birthday. I'm 36 years old today, um, and I am 10 days post-op. And let me just tell you, uh, the past couple days, especially from my last video, it's been a little crazy. Um, so my last video, I was in the hospital, and we left to go stay with our friends in Pleasanton which is like, I don't know, 45 minutes outside of Stanford. And uh, in my last video I said I wasn't able, I, or I didn't feel like I was able to go up 13 stairs to go to my aunt's house. To get into our friend's house there were eight stairs, so they were gonna try to take me like around the back and try to find a way to wheel me. But once we got there I actually felt pretty confident um, and I did the eight stairs comfortably. I, it was, I was really happy. That day was a pretty good turning point, but I was still pretty sore. Um, and then uh, everything went crazy with this world and the coronavirus, and we got in the stay-in-place lockdown, um, as, um, and everything kind of just changed very quickly with post-op. Um, originally, like I had said, they moved me to Monday. I had called to try to talk to them about, I didn't know if I wanted to move it back to Wednesday. They wanted me to come in on Wednesday because they just wanted to make sure that I could remove some drains before I left. And then the idea was that we were going to go home and actually come back the following week um, to get the drains out. And I'd asked if uh, there was a doctor in town that I could have take them out. And they said, no, they're really, you know, picky about removing their own drains and keeping an eye on everything. And Tuesday morning I woke up and everything had just locked down even more. They called and wanted me in that day. Um, just to do the post-op and they said they were gonna they teach me how to remove my own drains so that we could go home because they wanted basically everyone out of the area that did not need to be there so um, just kind of crazy how the coronavirus has changed everything so we stayed with our friends for two days um, and then we went back on uh, Tuesday morning I got three out of my six drains out which one's well, amazing um I would love to get the remaining three out but man three are so so much better than six um I have since been weaning my narcotics uh last time I spoke to you guys online I uh I was still taking my oxycontin and gabapentin and uh since I have uh, almost completely weaned off so I haven't taken any oxycontin today except for like for this morning just because um I was hurting pretty good I think that's only been, that's really my biggest problem right now is sleeping, just because I am resting most of the time, and I've been kind of, you know, lounging in recliners um, to try to stay in a flexed position, and uh, so there's been a lot of pressure on my tailbone. So when I actually go to sleep, and I've tried to sleep like on a wedge pillow or in the recliner, and honestly, it's just so much pressure on my tailbone, and so I've kind of had a hard time sleeping, so I've been taking some taking a couple of narcotics at night, but yesterday I think I took one pill of, half a pill, like 2.5 milligrams in the morning, and I didn't take any more the rest of the day. I've just been managing with Tylenol and ibuprofen. Um, today I've taken very little. I think I took uh, some ibuprofen this morning, and I just took one, one Tylenol now, and I'm doing pretty good. Um, spasms have completely stopped. Uh, the overall pain, really, unless I overdo it, is super manageable. Um, I just, I get a lot of pain on my back because uh, when I'm walking, because I'm flexed forward and it's, it just takes a lot of strength there. Um, so uh, I'm going to take a video of me walking to show you guys. Um, I just got out of the shower and <laughs> that's like an hour whole process of trying to um, have my husband help me and you know, we also like draining the drains and all of that. So just prepared, be prepared if you do the surgery that everything you do takes about five times longer, but that's okay. Um, luckily my husband is still here. Uh, he's taken off two weeks to taking care of me. I'm super fortunate. He's been amazing. Um, and my, uh, parents have been helping with the kids. Um, I've, I've been really fortunate. I've had a lot of help. Um, Unfortunately, a lot of other people who wanted to help can't because we're all in seclusion now due to coronavirus. So I just wanted to let everyone know, you know, 10 days post-op and I'm doing really good. So, um, you know, it was a little rough in the beginning, but I will say that so far the surgery has been significantly less scary than I thought it was going to be. So 
little motivation for anybody out there that's thinking about doing this. Um, so I'm actually going to turn around. Oh, well, no, I'll probably, yeah, I'll just go ahead and turn this around. Um, and I'm going to have my husband watch me walk so you guys can see how I am moving. Um, let me see if I can do this here. Oh, okay, I guess my husband's just going to hold it like this. There we go. Yep. Okay, so I have this big giant momo here. So it's kind of hard to tell, but I am still kind of flexed a little bit, but I'm actually standing up pretty dang good. So um, if you want to go in front of me, I'm just um, down the hall. So as you can see, I stood up by myself. I did not need any assistance. I used my leg strength. And um, I maybe pushed off on my arms just a little bit. But, I mean, I've got a pretty good pace. Angle it up, babe. So, and I mean, I've been walking my house. Angle it up so you can see my face. I've been walking my house multiple laps in a day. I mean, I think they said walk four times a day. And I've just kind of been helping with the kids as much as I can. Um, I'm going to come back over here and sit down. Um, so. Yep, as you can see, I'm moving completely by myself. My husband's not having to help me a lot. Um, I will say at night, he really is, you know, getting down and lying up, um, just trying to figure that out. And then if I'm in a recliner is when I need, like if I'm really in a reclined position, I need a little bit of help because I can't get all my core strength. But for like normal daily stuff, I'm, I'm actually doing pretty good myself. So um, I'll try to update a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me, still hurts to cough. Um, I took a little time to recover and I was really out of it due to the narcotics, but um, I'll try to start posting a little bit more. I think in two more days, um, I'm allowed to actually start doing some active range of motion uh, above 90 degrees. So I'll show you guys a couple things that I do and how I fare with that. Okay, talk to you soon. Thanks.